Hey, what's up, man? What you doing? And I'm trying to overclock my CPU, but, but it's been overheating on the air cooler that I'm using, so I'm actually about to water cool it. So, uh, which AIO are you gonna use? I highly recommend Asetex. What, what do you mean, cooler? Oh, you mean like a custom loop? You're gonna go for uh, custom loop cooling? What are you talking about? I'm just gonna water cool it. What, what do you, what do you... Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I have a really sick build that I've been super excited to do for a few days now. Yes, in today's video, we are building a white slash RGB themed gaming PC. And this build is actually going to be featuring this. This is the new Radeon RX 6800. By some magic hint of luck, a member of my Discord community was actually able to get me this card for around retail price, so I'm super excited to use it in today's build and to test it out and to do future videos about this card. But in today's video, I'm just building kind of a really awesome themed build, and I've got a really cool case with a ton of RGB, so I think this build's gonna look pretty epic. But that's enough talking, let's get into the parts and then let's get into this build because I'm very excited to see how this thing turns out. So I've already mentioned the graphics card for today's build is the RX 6800. This is a uh, pretty awesome card. Uh, just cause it's here, as for RAM, I've got this 24 gigabyte kit of Trident Z Neo. Now for our motherboard today, this box is actually kind of a trick. This is not an X470 gaming plus some MSI. As a matter of fact, in this box, we have this N7, whatever it's called, motherboard from NZXT. So this N7 motherboard from NZXT is actually their older model. I actually got this board on eBay for $40. This is the Z370 edition of their N7 motherboard, and I paid 40 bucks because they thought it was broken. But as soon as I got it and tested it, it actually just worked, like, first try. So, $40 motherboard, anyone? Now, as for the CPU in this motherboard currently, this is a delitted and then relitted with a copper heat spreader i3-8350K. Now, if you're completely confused as to why the hell anyone would delid then relid an i3, I'm just as confused as you are. I paid like $20 for it, but I've easily had the CPU clocked to five plus gigahertz on 240 millimeter liquid cooling AIOs with plenty of temperature headroom left to spare and vaulted. So I hope I can get a five plus gigahertz overclock on this thing. And I actually think this will be a really interesting system. I do have an 8700K that's in a different rig that I could pull out and use here, but I honestly feel like this might just be really interesting to try in this build. Uh, especially I want to see you know, what would be the bottleneck this 6800 or this 5 gigahertz 4 core and for storage in today's system All we're gonna be using is this one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo NVMe SSD uh, This is basically just a really good SSD. I mean, there's really not much to say about it I, I picked this up recently. I got it for like 50 bucks uh, So that's a pretty good deal. I'm like why not kind of fits in today's build and it uh to the M.2 slot, so we don't need to deal with any SATA cables today. And for the cooling in today's system, we are going with this. This is a pretty basic, but pretty awesome NZXT Kraken cooler made by Asetek. That's the key. It's made by Asetek. Asetek makes some pretty awesome products, including this NZXT cooler. And this is a 360 millimeter radiator that I picked up recently and uh we're gonna be running it in this case but i'm not gonna be using the stock uh crappy nzxt fans that come with it i'm going to be using the corsair fans that come with this case that are 10 times better than the fans that come with this yes it might be a little overkill for our quad core cpu but again i really want to see what we can clock this thing to and finally moving on to our case we have this this, to be completely honest, is a random Corsair case that I paid like $35 for and then figured out after the fact that it was like $120. I will link the exact model of this case as well as any other parts that are relatively modern and can be linked on Amazon for the right price in the description below, including this case. I'll figure out what exactly it's called, but I paid like $35 for this case, figured out it was like 120 bucks. It comes with three RGB fans. I have actually installed three extra RGB fans, all from Corsair to build a pretty RGB'd out rig. I am very excited. This thing is gonna look super sexy. Finally, I wanna talk about this. 
This is the power supply for today's system. And this is the NJ700 from Silverstone. I wanna give a huge thank you to Silverstone who actually sent over this really awesome power supply because this thing is one of a kind. This is an 80 plus titanium, the highest 80 plus rating for efficiency. Fanless 700 watt PSU. Every single spec that I have just named is pretty impressive. 700 watts, really good, especially for a system like this, perfectly balanced. Fanless, really awesome. And 80 plus titanium. That is insane. So I'm super excited to use this power supply in the build just because this thing is overkill and I love it and it's so cool. Again, please feel free to check it out in the description below. I highly recommend this unit. And besides that, I think that's everything that we're going to need for today's build. You know what they say? Cue the build montage. That's not going to be as good as my other build montages, even though my other ones were kind of mediocre anyway. But I don't actually have a cameraman this time, so it's going to be me trying to build the PC at the same time as holding the camera. Cue the montage. I have been building PCs for well over two years now, and I don't think I have ever done something this stupid. I'll admit, I've done some pretty stupid things, but I think this cake, <laughs> I think this takes the cake for stupidity. You may notice that the RX 6800 that was supposed to be uh, kind of the highlight of this build is outside of the case. It's supposed to be inside the case in the board, and it's not, because <laughs> at no point in planning or building this PC did I think to actually check if it could fit in this case. This is a pretty slim case. Turns out, with a radiator and fans, it cannot fit. And uh, none of my other graphics cards that uh, would fit are here at the exact second, so I only had a 1080 Ti, which is not bad except for the fact that the 1080 Ti is liquid cooled. So I had to violate the Geneva Convention, and I got this. Ain't she beautiful? Now, it's not the graphics powerhouse that I was hoping for by using the RX 6800, but with the Vega 64, which isn't that actually that old, it ends up being still a pretty decent system. And honestly, I kind of love the look of this silver and red card, especially when I set all the other RGB lights to red. It ends up with a very nice looking system. Now it may look nice, but how does it perform in games? Well, I did some quick tests on Grand Theft Auto V and Rainbow Six Siege and as well as CSGO, but just to give a quick rundown, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, not bad. Again, 100 FPS. Now, 
You may notice the CPU is only running at about 4.4 GHz despite being easily overclockable to 5 as I mentioned, and that's because NZXT has somehow managed to create the only motherboard in existence that is incapable of overclocking a simple quad-core CPU. So we had to stick at around a 4.4 GHz all-core clock. Very annoying. And as for Rainbow Six Siege, same results, again, a solid gaming experience, and our Vega 64 isn't really even that overutilized. Again, this is a very weak CPU. Again, this isn't the strongest CPU on the planet. I had really just hoped to get like a solid 5.3 GHz overclock on here, which with a nice cooler like this one from Ace Tech uh, is entirely possible, but sadly, um, NZXT really, really clock blocked us here. But that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little uh, odd little build video. And thank you so much again to Ace Attack for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.